G'day guys, Greg here. Well today I was going to show you how to make a delicious, simple, easy recipe that when I was living in Switzerland and working in a youth hostel, we used to make all the time. There was a guy there from Texas! Who used to whip up this dirty rice and we used to love it. So, let me show you how he used to make it, of course, with a bit of an old Grego twist. Let's get to it. This is Greg's kitchen. Right, well here's the ingredients. All you're gonna need is an onion, a capsicum of the color of your choice, or as we call them in America, pepper. And in Spanish, pimiento. I got half a kilo of dead cow here, stock cubes, some rice of course, some Tabasco, and of course, some butter. Oh yeah. Well let's get this bad boy started. Mm. Okay, so first things first, let's cut these veggies up into small bits, and by the magic of YouTube, that's done. Right, let's start cooking the meat. So I'm using a saucepan today, which I've heated to pretty warm. There's my skin. So I'll just chuck the old meat in there. Oh no, not paper side down. Oh, save. Hey. I'll just start cooking this. And while we're browning this, I'll chuck in the onions and the capsicum. And I'll also start throwing in my beef or bouillon cubes. You can probably use two of them, but I'm using three because I'm hardcore. And while this is cooking, what I'm gonna do is just get one cup of rice. And what I'll do is I'll just rinse this under the tap just to get rid of all that starchy rubbish that sits on rice. Whoosh. All right, so now once that meat's all cooked, I might just throw in some butter because you know what? Butter. Okay, so now once I've done that, I'm just gonna add in my rinsed one cup of rice and two cups, maybe a little bit less than two cups of water depending how much butter you used. So now I'll turn the heat right up, get this cranking, because I want this to boil. Alrighty, so now once that's boiling, I'm gonna reduce the heat right down to a low sort of heat. And I'm gonna just cover this up, and I'm just gonna cook this until the rice is cooked. Now depending on the rice you use, that could be between 10 and 20 minutes. So I just keep coming back and checking. And when you come back and check, you know, give it the odd stir, make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. <laughs> I said bottom. <laughs> right, well it's been about the 15 minutes, so let's check this out, see how it's going. Ah! Right, that's all. Still a little bit runny for my liking. So I'm gonna leave the lid off and let some of that water evaporate out. Let's just see if this rice is cooked. Ah! Oh God! Ah! Oh boy, that was hot. Yeah, that rice is cooked. So, what I'll do now is turn off the heat because now it's time to add some delicious Tabasco sauce. So I'm not gonna go light on this. I'm actually gonna go really heavy on it and use heaps of it. Get it nice and spicy. Now you might need to add some pepper as well for those people who will whinge that I haven't added any. And salt to taste of course, it might already be salty enough. And there you have it, dirty rice. They call it dirty rice obviously because it looks pretty dirty, doesn't it? Alrighty, well there's that dirty rice I just whipped up. Smells very Tabasco-y. And I'm starving, so let's just get into it. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, you are a dirty rice. <laughs> and spicy. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy that dirty rice. It's great to try some new recipes and something a little bit different. And that is a little bit different, I tell you. It tastes great, and I'm sure you guys will love it. If you do try it, let me know how yours turns out. Remember to thumb this video up for me. Subscribe for more, share my videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen. Some dirty rice. Just like the way they make it in Texas. Yeehaw!